Hello, Vanterra family. Thalen here again, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your touch panel on your microwave. But before we get started, let's talk about a few things we're going to need. Obviously, our PPE, we're going to need gloves and glasses. We also, because this is an electrical unit, we are going to need to disconnect power here. Um, there's no need for lockout tag out. We have a video for that if you're wondering what that is. Um, I can simply disconnect this unit directly above here with a unplug and the unit is dead and no power. There is a capacitor back here, so please be careful when you're opening this up and getting in there. Uh, it can hold a charge and can cause some damage. So let's go over some of the hand tools we'll need to get this job done today. Uh, first thing will be a Phillips screwdriver. And secondly, we might need a pair of needle nose pliers to possibly disconnect some of the connections back there if they're hard to reach. So let's get started. This is a Whirlpool unit and we're gonna want to remove our grill to make it a little easier access for the set screw. So in order to do that, I like to open the door. There's gonna be two screws up here for the grills. I have already removed those for video purposes. Once your screws are removed, you can simply pull this forward it will lift out. At that point, your touch panel is here. And on the very top, there is a set screw that is right underneath that grill. As soon as that grill is off of there, you will see your set screw. I have removed that as well. So now that our screw is removed, our panel simply is going to push up and pull towards you. Okay. It does have a little metal tab back here that will hold it into place. There's also a small wire, a ground wire, that has a Phillips screw that you will need to remove. I have removed that. And at that point, once your ground wire is done, you can, can go ahead and pull your panel. There are four, five connections back here that you will unplug. And sometimes that's where your needle nose can come into handy. Those can be a little difficult sometimes to get off. That's why a pair of needle nose pliers is good. It definitely is on there. There we go. And then these others are just simple push tabs. Just push the tab and remove the wire. And there's a total of three of those. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you remove your existing microwave panel. You can see your connections in there. Two there. Three big wires there. And your ground. That is your ground. Okay. Okay. And to reinstall, we will simply repeat the process. We will simply plug all of our connections in. It's a little tight. Just take your time, plug in everything that I can. It is plug and play, so it's you can't really mess it up. You will reinstall the set screw for your ground wire and put your tabs back on. There you have it. 